let's get ready to take integration, indefinite integration, to the next level. Now, we've got a couple of examples we're about to execute. Now, some of you probably remember from calculus differentiation where you have two functions multiplying each other. And when you do that, you use something called a product rule. When they divide, you use the question rule. Well, in integration, there's no product rule or question rule. We've got a couple of examples here that involve a function times a function or when it's squaring itself. So what do we do? Well, there's a trick to this and I'm about to show you. So here's our first example as I unveil it for you. And it's the square root of x and then multiply by in brackets 1 plus 1 over the square root of x dx. So it's an indefinite integral. So we can't use the product rule because there is no product rule. So what you do is you simply expand and then integrate each individual component separately and then you'll get the actual integration. So let's go about doing that now. So let's start off here by expanding. We're going to multiply the square root of x times the 1 and the square root of x times the 1 over the root x. So let's do that. So the first part will be the integral of the square root of x plus multiplying that will be square root of x over the square root of x dx. Now we want to put it in a form that is integration friendly. So we can integrate easily and usually we want to use exponents and powers and that makes it easy for us to raise the power. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's going to become the integral of x to the power of a half plus 1 dx. Now that's integration friendly. It's very suitable now. So let's start the integrating. Now remember here what we do with the power, we increase it by 1. So 1 plus a half is 3 on 2, isn't it? So that's going to end up becoming x to the power of 3 on 2. And then we divide by that also. So it's divided by 3 on 2. And then the integral of a constant, a number, simply you just add the x to it. So that 1 transforms into an x. And of course, we add the integrating constant over there. So there we have it. Now let's further simplify it so it looks like a nice, clean, easy to read function. So we got to the power of 3 on 2, which means it's going to be the square root of x cubed. So let's go ahead and write that out. So that will be the square root of x cubed. And that square, that little 2 is actually in there, square root. And we flip the 3 on 2 upside down because we're dividing by it. So that will become 2 thirds. So it's 2 over 3. OK, and then we bring down the x. There it is. And the constant. And that's our answer. For that example. Let's try another example up here. This one is when it's multiplying by itself. So we have in brackets 3x minus 6 all squared. So what do we do? Well, there's no product rule. We're going to what? Well, function or function rule. That doesn't exist either. We're simply going to expand it. So let's do that. So that'll be still the integral of Okay, so let's expand that. That's going to give us an answer of 3 threes. That's 9x squared. So it's the integral of 9x squared. And then we have minus 18x minus 18x. And then 6 plus 36. Let me just put a demarcation here, a boundary. Okay, so let's further simplify that. So that's the integral of 9x squared minus 36x plus 36. So that's what we're looking at integrating. Let me just put the dx there. So that's what we're going to do. Now all you have to do now that you've expanded it is individually take each component and integrate it. So let's do the first part over here. So let's raise the power. It's 9x squared. Let's raise it up. That'll be 9x cubed on 3 minus 36 
x squared all over 2 plus 36x. Now let's not forget the constant, so that'll be a plus c here. Fix up that little fence there, little boundary. So there's that. Now we just uh, simplify the numbers down there below. So that's going to give us 9 divided by 3. The answer for the integral to this question up there is going to be... That's going to be 3x cubed. Eighteen x squared and of course plus C, a very important plus C there. Well there you have it guys.